is it possible for a coffee maker to burn coffee? That does not taste right. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a vlog this week. I tried to vlog last week mostly on my phone, but I started to play back all the videos that I had recorded so that I could sit down and edit. Um, I discovered that the audio was not working. It was cutting in and out. I decided to just whatever, toss that aside. This week is my finals week of my first session of nursing school. It is Monday morning. I woke up at nine, um, kind of just laid in bed for a little while, hopped in the shower, used my Frank body scrub because my eczema has just been absolutely terrible on like my chest and my forehead, some spots on my face. The stress of finals week exacerbates my eczema, which then exacerbates my acne. I have all of these spots everywhere, so we're struggling, but school's from home, right? So I guess it doesn't really matter how I look. So I have three finals this week that I have to get done on top of final project and a bunch of modules for my math class that I have to complete before Friday. I also have a shift at work on Wednesday. I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday. Very busy, busy, busy week. When I have really busy weeks, I like to plan my, my days out literally by day so that I know what I have to get done each day so that I'm not overwhelmed with work on Thursday or Friday or the weekend before I have a shift. So I'm going to spend some time doing that, organizing my days, centering myself so that I can stay focused and be productive. So I'm going to spend the next few minutes getting that done. This is what I have planned out. I need to go through um, Canvas to double check and make sure that I didn't forget anything. But I highlighted the things that I like have to do and get done by that day. So I have my final project due at 8 a.m. tomorrow. I have a doctor's appointment. I have um, the HESI exam, which I'll explain about that because I know in my previous video I talked about already taking it. I have um, some final letters due. I have a math final. It's technically not due until Sunday, um, so that's why I didn't highlight it, but I want to get it done that day. And so then I have all of my work split up throughout the days. So what I want to get done today, what I want to get done tomorrow in between class and my doctor's appointment. Um, and then I have my work shifts in here so that I don't forget that I won't be able to work on homework at all on Wednesday. Thursday, this doesn't seem like a lot, but this is a lot of work. And on top of it, I'm going to be reviewing for my math final that I want to complete on Friday. So I'm going to take some time out and go through my canvas and make sure that I'm not forgetting any other assignments or due dates that I have. Hey guys, so I actually finished my final project that's due tomorrow morning. It was just like a creative project, a little collage. First I'm gonna eat my little lunch. I made like a little caprese salad. Is it caprese or caprese? I don't know. I'm gonna sit down and eat this really quick. And then I'm gonna get back to my schoolwork. It's noon now. So I did work on that project for a little bit. It took me some time. Um, and yeah, I'll check in with you guys soon. longest day of my life. It is now about to be 3 p.m. I'm almost done with all of my math modules. I only have three left, but math is like ugh, my worst subject. So I'm going to take a little mental break, maybe make a snack, watch an episode of some show, and then get back to it because I feel like 
I'm just hitting a wall and if I hit a wall, I just, I am gonna get lazy and then not finish my work and I need to finish my work. So in order to avoid that, I'm just gonna give myself a little mental break and then hop back to it. I'm back you guys, I'm talking. Like I have all these fans, I have two loyal subscribers. No, that's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Anyways, I am leaving the doctor's office now. I got my TV test done. I got my um, tetanus shot done and I got my physical done. So all of that is part of the clinical compliance that you have to complete when you start a nursing program. There's a bunch of other things that you have to show proof of. Um, your varicella vaccine, your... Um, MMR vaccine, there's just a bunch of stuff that you have to show that you are immune to on top of like proving that you have um, health insurance, a flu shot, all that good stuff. So this is just a part of all the tedious work that has to be done when you're in a program. It's super annoying. I had to do it all for um, my CNA program when I got my CNA. You get it done. It is what it is. Anyways, um, I left my doctor's office, stopped and got my coffee. I have no idea what I ordered. I like panic order. Does anybody else panic order when you feel like you're holding up a line? I literally just looked at a picture and was like that. And it is like so sweet. I'm not like a sweet coffee person either. I always get three shots of espresso in my lattes. And this thing is like, I think I got like a salted caramel, but mocha. So it's just like, caramel and chocolate. I can't even taste the saltiness of it. It's not bad. I'm grateful that I was even able to buy myself a coffee today. So I need to stop being a brat, but ugh, the flavor is just not it. Hi guys. Sorry that the lighting is so horrible. I'm getting ready for bed. I spent the last few hours prepping for my exam tomorrow. I'm just going to wake up tomorrow morning keep doing some review before my exam at 10 then i'll be taking my exam and i will be going to work but for now i'm just gonna take some time to get ready for bed i'll do a full like nighttime routine video eventually but i'll just do like a cute quick quick snips tonight <laughs> Hi guys, I am on my way to work now. Um, I quickly got ready. We do wear masks, obviously, when we work. Um, tonight I am, a guy just went by on a bike with like, but like a homemade motor on it, oh my God. I'm working behind the bar tonight. It is a Wednesday night, so I don't expect it to be busy or to make a lot of money. Oh right, I wanted to explain to you all why I had to take the Hussy. So in my last video, I was explaining to you guys that you have to take the T's or the Hussy as kind of an entrance exam um, for most nursing schools. Typically for my program, I would have taken the Hussy during the application program. But honestly, I ended up applying kind of last minute. I had gotten kind of rejected from another program that I had applied to. They told me to reapply for the spring session starting in January because they had very limited seats left for fall. Yeah, it like really didn't make sense because I had been in contact with so many admissions advisors from that program and they all told me like, no, you'll be fine go ahead and apply and then I applied and they were like no but reapply for next session 
So I was super bummed about that, but then I was like, you know what, six more months of working, saving money. I moved out of my parents' house. I was like, I'm gonna save money, take a couple trips, um, pay off as much of my like undergrad loans as I can. And then COVID happened, ha ha. All of that went down the drain. I just kind of like last minute applied to this program. Um, and then I got in and I was like, oh, Okay, I guess I'm starting school in a month. I literally found out a month before classes started. And so it, it felt all very rushed and last minute, but because no one was having in-person um, instruction at that time, I couldn't go in to take the HESI. And so they admitted me based on my GPA, like all of my, like my grades and my pre-nursing requisites, but I still had to take the HESI so that they could have it in their records that I took the exam and just to see generally like where I placed as far as like just general education. So, um, I, it wasn't like they absolutely like needed it before I started class. That's why I just took it now. They just needed it in their record. And so I finally got around to scheduling it and taking it. So I did take it today. It took me about three hours to complete for the full thing. And there's um, anatomy and physiology, chemistry, biology, vocabulary, grammar, English, slash reading, um, a personality test, a learning style test, and a critical thinking portion. So I took all that, scored all in the 80s and 90s for all those categories, so that's cool. So starting this upcoming Monday, I will be taking eight weeks of an ethics course, poli sci course. Maybe I'll do a whole video explaining how my coursework is laid out because I did have um, almost all of my like general education courses completed. I should do, I will do a whole video explaining all of that just so that if you're new to college or you're thinking about applying to a nursing program, you can get a better idea of what courses you should be taking or what courses you will have to take in time. Hopefully I make a little bit of money tonight. Tomorrow I can have another productive day. I'm gonna have my last NR103 transition to the nursing profession class, which I'm really bummed about because I've had so much fun in that class. It's been a really great introduction to nursing school. So sorry if most of this video, my face has been behind the steering wheel. I am driving and I should hang up because no one likes a distracted driver. It's unsafe and I should lead by example. So I will catch you guys after my shift, bye. I have class in about 20 minutes. Um, I didn't vlog anything because I got home super late, close to one o'clock last night. It ended up being so busy for a Wednesday, but I made really good money, so that's good. Now I look like a rat and I'm being unhealthy and I'm having a concha for breakfast. If you're Mexican or Latina or Hispanic, you know what this is. What a way to start the day. So I have been out of class for about an hour now. Oh my God, my baby hairs. If anybody has like a hair product that keeps baby hairs down, that's not like gel or hairspray because I hate feeling like my hair is like hard, like crunchy. Let me know because my baby hairs on this side of my head are like always out of control. I'm gonna be heading to the gym I'm um, getting a nice little booty workout in, and making some lunch, and then I will probably be done vlogging for the day. And I will probably vlog again tomorrow morning, but um, we'll see. So yeah, I will check in with you guys in a bit. <laughs> don't work today. I don't have a single thing I need to be doing for school. So it is my first complete free and day off before I start my second session classes tomorrow. I get no break. Um, so I'm going to have a self-care day. Woke up this morning, slept in, washed my face, did my face mask. I love frame products. They're everything. So I did my face mask. Um, I'm gonna moisturize now and then I'm gonna start my day with some yoga. So I'm gonna bring you guys along.
cleaning. Um, I ate dinner. I did some journaling. I went through my syllabi for my next classes. Um, and then I just kind of watched some shows and unwinded. I should have gone to the gym today, but I didn't because I was being lazy. Um, but I edited basically this whole video. So now I'm just filming this last little portion. Um, I realize that I'm literally wearing like the same shirt and sweater all throughout the week, but in my defense, I barely left the house. But anyways, now I'm going to get ready for bed. Thank you guys so much for coming along for my first finals week as a nursing student. I can't believe my first session is over with now. I'm just super excited to see where the program takes me and all that is to come. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. It was my very first vlog. I'm not sure if it's boring or not, um, but I guess we'll find out, right? So thanks so much, you guys, for coming along. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Oh, I'm so tired. Uh, okay. All right. Good night, guys. Bye.